And we're back with the iPod Classic. Let's hack it. Okay, so here's a very complicated installer. Um, I'm not gonna read all of that, but I'm hoping that we can just do this automated installation. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's try it. I downloaded the Rockbox utility so we can launch it. I'm also going to connect my iPod to the computer with USB. I don't know when in the process we need to do that, but I assume we're going to need to do that at some point. All right. Um, sure. It's a new version. I just downloaded it. How can there be a new version if I just downloaded it? Okay, I'm just going to do this. Apple iPod Classic 6th Gen. Oh, can we do auto detect? Cannot detect a mount point. I don't know what that means. All right. Select components to install. Bootloader. That seems important. Rockbox. Sure. Fonts. Ooh, I do want themes. Plugin data. Voice file. Don't know what that means. Sure, we'll get a manual. One second. All right, well, I assume we just click on install, so let's try that. Press and hold select menu buttons after 12 seconds. Do it quickly. Do I release? Do I release? Do I release? I'm gonna release. I don't know what it's doing. Device is not in DFU mode. It seems that the previous required action failed. Please try again. Hmm. Okay, I'll try again. Okay, it says iPod DFU mode. Try again as in go back and click install again. Okay, well, uh, okay. Okay, uh, let's try this again install mount point is wrong okay. um so i have all of these on the side and i'm not sure why so i'm gonna eject these stop stop sinking um let's try again let me just all right press and hold select and menu buttons for 12 seconds It says release. I did release. And I'm waiting. Device not in DFU mode. Yes, it did. Please try again. Okay. Alright. Select and menu for 12 seconds. It has been 12 seconds. Oh. I saw it very briefly. Okay. Get rid of all of that. Device is not in DFU mode. Yes, it is! Uh, well, I think I messed up. I think it's dead. Hmm. That's not good. Okay. All right, plan B. Since it did not work on Mac, um, I'm gonna try it on Windows. 
So I got this right here, and we're gonna try it. Okay, new installation. Yeah. Okay, Apple. Apple 6th gen. Also, we could auto detect. Okay. So I guess that's it. Um, we want bootloader, themes. I um, think that's all we need. Stable release. Cool. Install. Alright. Select and menu. Okay. I released it. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, it beeped. I, di I didn't know it could beep. Okay. My, my air conditioning turned on again. I'm just gonna sit here until it turns off. Or it'll just be noisy, I don't care. Okay, holding these. Okay. Okay, well, I it restarted. I don't, I don't know what it wants me to do. I guess I'll click on abort. It looks like it's working. What happens if I unplug this? Okay. The text is really small, I gotta get closer. Okay. Files, database, uh, sure. All right, database is not ready. Initialize now. Okay, it's building my database. Look at that, artist, um, all tracks. This looks like my music. Um, can I play something? Grab, there it is. Can I play this? Loading, oh, it's loading. Nope, I, I already, nope, you lost me. I can't wait for it to load. I don't have an attention span. What is this? I think it worked. So I don't know what the installer was complaining about because it looks like it installed correctly. Um, cat, stop eating my cables. Um, I just lost my entire train of thought. Anyway, um, yeah, themes. We're gonna get themes on here because this, this is not good. Okay, I'll get back to you. Waffle break. I got the genuine maple syrup to go with my Eggos. Well, it's not Eggo, but same difference. All right, what to say about this? It's not good. All right, so here I am in the stock OS to go over to Rockbox. We hold these two buttons down to force a restart. And then there it is. And here we are. Um, let's start with the good. Um, settings, themes. Um, now these I transferred over with that um, installer tool. Um, there's a lot more available than just these, but just to show off a couple of them. This one looks like Windows 95, so that's pretty cool. That's what it looks like. Let's find a different one. Add weta pod. I think I said that right. Well, here's this one. It's kind of cool. I, li I like I like the look of this one. Um, it's not showing my album art. That's interesting. Okay, a music pod. Yeah, d is there just no album art? There's not. Also, I don't know what that is. I don't have any songs or artists named Defu. I have no idea what that is. Okay, let's try one more theme. Retro tape fixed. There was also a retro tape, and I assume that one was not fixed. So I got the one that said it was fixed. So hopefully that means it works. I, I don't know. Okay, so here's retro tape. That's what it looks like. That's kind of cool. When you hit play, the little, little thing comes down. It's got little audio bars right here. 
So yeah, that one's pretty cool. Um, let's look at one more. Let's find one that I would actually use. Let's see what modern box is. Oh, my battery just died. That's weird. Okay. All right, this, this one's a nice, clean theme. I like this one. So anyway, themes. Um, it's pretty cool. It has a fresh layer of paint. Um, and there's many themes to choose from. That's pro number one for Rockbox. Okay, let's let's keep track of the pros and cons. Um, here's pro number two. Okay, we're listening to this song. Let's say I want to queue up a song to play next. Well, I can go and find it. I don't know. Let's pick a random song. All right, so I want to play this song right here next. So I can hold this down. Playing next. Play next. So then we go back here, so this song is playing, and then the next song is going to be that. Remember in my first video about the iPod, one of my biggest complaints was that there, there was no way to do that. You couldn't just add a song to play next. You either just play the whole album, or shuffle the album, or shuffle everything, um, but you couldn't just queue up a song. So there you go, now you can do that and that's cool. I feel like I had a third pro, but I don't remember because I'm thinking about all of the cons. Well, let's talk about the cons. Um, it's slow. Look, I don't, that was not scripted. <laughs> Sometimes it says searching, and it just kind of freezes for a moment. Um, here's another bit of a, a con. So let's say we're done listening to music. Usually, you'd hold this button down and it would go to sleep, right? And then you can quickly come back and pick up where you were. Well, if I try to put this to sleep, um, it freezes, apparently. Okay, if I try to put this to sleep, it shuts down. Why? Why did, why did it shut all the way down? And then you got to turn it back on and it has to boot up just like that every time it resumes playback but it was off and it had to boot back up and now it's on okay so now let's say I want to add stuff on it here I want to add music I want to add a theme file or something um, you can't just plug it in while it's on Rockbox and plug it into your computer you have to boot back into the stock OS and then plug it into your computer for some reason. So if you hold menu and then turn it back on, then it boots into the stock OS. And now you can plug it in to your computer to transfer stuff over. And it's not the end of the world, but I just have to question why? Why couldn't I just plug it in? booted into Rockbox? Uh, I don't know. So I guess other than all of that, um, it's still an iPod. You can listen to music. And that's about it. Um, it even works in the car. It is hot. It is, it is very hot in here. Um, let's make this quick. Turn that off so I have, so y'all can hear me. Um, okay, got my iPod, I'm gonna plug it in, and that's Bluetooth, um, does it, oh, yep, yep, copyright, um, USB music, there we go, uh, menu, yeah, list, Cool, so we can go to artist. Yeah, so just like with the stock OS, we can control it from here. Um, although it doesn't say Q motors here like it does. But anyway, yeah, we can control it right here. So that's super cool. There's also these plugins here. And so there's some games like 2048. So that's kind of cool. And there's others here. They got Doom. Well, that's epic. Um, there's no sound. 
I plugged it in hoping that there would be. Um, but there's not. I just died. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to switch. Oh. Okay, well that's fun. How do I get out of here? Exit. I don't know how to exit. Okay, well, I don't know what happened. Oh, okay, it crashed and rebooted. Anyway, there's games. So, yeah, it's an iPod, and it's just a different operating system to play music with. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't see much point in using Rockbox over the stock OS, um, because the stock OS works. Yes, this has themes, it has modern features, it has it runs Doom, um, but it's incredibly slow. It crashes all the time. Um, yeah, not really worth it in my opinion. But go ahead and install it on your own and then see for yourself. Maybe your mileage might vary. 